Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm at a nice little woodsy, scenic area that we discovered just for this particular review because guess what? I have it. This is the all new, totally redesigned, totally updated 2020 Land Rover Defender. Our particular one is the 110 SE. But before we dive into this super size British off-road vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here. Land Rover, this iconic British brand goes back so many decades. You know what? When this vehicle first was designed and built, they didn't even call it the Defender. It was called the 90 and the 110. And even with this current model, they keep that lineage with the whole connection between the name and the vehicle. Ours being the 110 has the longer wheelbase. The 90 is the shorter wheelbase. And that's why there's a two-door version and a four-door version. The exciting thing is and really almost a nerve wracking thing, I couldn't even imagine what it must have been like to be a designer for this vehicle, is that they were successfully able to take the past, mix it with the present and add in a bunch of future and create a Defender that I think England could be very, very proud of, especially the whole Land Rover, Land Rover brand and family. But one thing is for certain, in the 21st century, the SUV segment is really, really fierce. The Defender has been around since 1990, so a lot has changed since 1990. That's when they called it the Defender instead of just the 90 and the 110. Here in the United States, we had this vehicle from 1993 to 1997, so not a long amount of time, but the great news is it left such a strong impression that people, including myself, have been chomping at the bit to get more seat time behind the wheel of one of these Defenders. So let's go ahead, let's find out, did Land Rover bring it big, live up to its name, and have they created this luxury off-road vehicle to just destroy the competition? Let's go ahead and find out. First of all, our particular Land Rover 110 is featured in this beautiful Fuji white. It really shows the curves so nicely, and the curves start right up at the front of the business. So you're gonna have this beautiful fender flare, really flows nicely off the side of the vehicle, shows that muscular strength of the Land Rover Defender. We do have it in the highest suspension setting. So this has an air suspension and you could raise or lower it. I figured for this review, let's go ahead and jack it up all the way because guess what? We're talking about over 11 inches of ground clearance and we'll get to that in just a split second. Now, when we start at the front end of the business, you could see very nicely done on the headlight design, you're gonna get LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, which we have. And what I do like is the way they brought in their signature DRLs. Really gives it a great look. A Little bit of gloss black, and I actually am digging the way it's recessed into the actual housing itself. Now, as we drop down, here's where we see a lot of nice touches. I'm really loving this aluminum finish design that they have here, especially with all the holes. It just makes it look very off-road-esque. You're gonna have your lower fog lamps, and then I'm gonna have Lori kind of earn her money a little bit here by zooming in and showing that's functional venting for cooling to get to all the different coolers. So what's wonderful about the front end of the business, nothing really fake on the front of this Land Rover Defender. You can see all that ground clearance that we have. Like I said, it's over 11 inches, and this thing can go almost almost it's very close almost through three feet of water can you do that with your chevy blazer mm, you're going to be doing it with this though so i love that finish we come across the center grill area hit the nail on the head a nice brushed aluminum horizontal bar here i like the way it kind of just wraps around that land rover badge with british racing green that color goes with england like peanut butter and jelly everything is functional as we work our way down, you're gonna have a forward-facing camera. Of course, as you go so, you know, through some off-road terrain or maybe through your mall parking lot, you wanna see where that parking block is before you run into Macy's. You do have that nice camera. Or if you're really taking this through Moab in Utah, you can see where all those rocks and all those crevices are before you get to it. Full functional, I love this egg crate grill design. Flat black, keep working our way down and more functionality, the way it wraps around the bottom, looks really, really clean, very purposeful, very Land Rover-esque. And they really, like I said, hit the nail on the head. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you're gonna have that Defender name with the emblems. I wish that they would move away from emblems and actually indent each of the letters into the hood. I think it would just be a cleaner look and even drop some silver in there, but the Fuji white with the silver Defender name does look very purposeful, very strong. You're gonna have this center section that has a nice rise to it. And as we kind of come around the corner of the hood, you can clearly see that rise in our beautiful Fuji white flows all the way back 
towards the windscreen. And then of course you're gonna have this really nicely done design, gives it a unique character look. And there's nothing that you're gonna confuse this Defender with. Uh, I know a lot of people saying Bronco Sport looks like, a, looks like a small version of this. Maybe, but they're really, this thing just stands out from the crowd. Now when we get to our wheel and tire setup, we do have the optional wheels on this one. I love the machined aluminum, that metallic dark gray finish has a great clean look to it and really kind of just shows the luxury side but also the rugged side these are 20 inch wheels and you're looking at 255 on the width and a meaty 50 series sidewall these are those um, specially designed goodyear off-road tires that are optional from the factory and they're totally approved by land rover so we have them on ours massive caliper i mean that looks like the head off of a sledgehammer to clamp down on those fully ventilated rotors. And then I'm gonna have Lori kind of zoom in and show off all the great suspension work. Because we have it raised with that air suspension, you can see the control arm, you can see the shock absorber, just really shows all of the engineering that goes into this that's underneath the sheet metal that a lot of people don't even pay attention to, but I love seeing those different parts. Now going into that flared fender, the flat black, not too high, not too low. You're gonna have a functional side uh, air vent here with the Defender name stamped in right there up top with a little bit of gloss black. Even the way they add some gloss black to the A-pillar just flows. It has a lot of nice design element to it. Now, standing next to this, I'm six feet tall. This thing is a beast, especially in that raised uh, area, but you have gloss black on your mirror caps. We're going to have 360 cameras. So this thing is like a rolling radio shack when it comes to cameras we got them everywhere and that's gonna make sure that as you're going off-road you'll be able to see what's going on or you throw it into reverse like I said at your son's soccer game or your daughter's soccer game we have turn singles built into the mirrors and I like the design nice square design you have the gloss black up top and when it comes to a roof nice and flat so everybody is gonna get the same amount of headroom even the way they took the, the roof rails and kept them close to that roof line is gonna cut down on whistling of wind and noise, but really strong belt line up top. I like the flat black because this is gonna help take a better beating as you are going off-road. And don't let this thing fool you one bit. It is ultra rugged, but wait until we get to that interior because there's gonna be a nice luxury side to things as well. Now, if you ever wonder what the heck is this white square here? Is this like, are they trying to cheat, teach geometry or something? You could actually hang side cargo boxes on this, one on each side, add more cargo space. I love the Land Rover name, the way that they put that there. And it just makes it look unique, totally different. This almost looks like one solid piece of glass if it wasn't for that area where a cargo back box could go. Another thing that I love about this is the skylights. So you actually have, these are uh, tinted glass up top on the roof. We do have the optional panoramic sunroof as well, but these lights give it that classic Defender look and I'm telling you when you're sitting in the back. It just it's kind of cool to look up Maybe you could see the Big Dipper uh, Maybe Haley's Comet make a wish. Maybe it'll come true Flared fender on the rear just like we have up front and then as we wrap around the back it, I'm telling you it just looks really really cool very modern But very classic at the same time the way that they did the LED taillights Love all of the different geometric square shapes really super clean and like I said, gives it that great modern look. A little bit of gloss black, but that's okay because it does balance out with the other gloss black pieces. You do have some bright silver work all the way, and you can see how they work the rear, lower rear bumper. They actually curve it underneath. They, teep, they keep that exhaust pipe, one on each side, tucked up nice. And now you can see that massive control arm down there. I mean, that thing is the size of a freaking space shuttle. So lots of strong metal on this because they want you to take it off-road. Of course, you're going to get your full-size spare out back. The Defender name, P400SE. That's the model and trim that we have. Super clean. That doesn't have to be super gaudy or anything. I like that tastefulness. And then the way that the door opens is just really cool as well. And we'll, we'll get more in that. I'm not ready to let that cat out of the bag. But while we go ahead, since we did our little walk around of this beast, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Land Rover Defender. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have two hydraulic hood struts underneath the hood. Not the sexiest of engine covers, but this vehicle is definitely not about the engine cover. You're looking at a three liter, six cylinder engine, 395 horsepower, 406 pound feet of torque. 
the way that they generate a lot of that juice is through an electric supercharger. It is mated to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. Of course, you have a two-speed transfer case. You're looking at zero to 60 in about 6.3 seconds, top speed around 120 miles an hour. This vehicle does weigh 5,775 pounds. MPGs, you're looking around 17 in the city, 22 on the highway, and here's the biggest news, towing capacity, 8,201 pounds. Of course, you're gonna have all-wheel drive, you have that air suspension, you have terrain response, hill descent control, that's gonna allow you to navigate through the craziest of terrain situations, no matter what the world throws at you. But you know what? This is just another piece of this amazing Defender puzzle. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's check out the interior and see that big luxury side that they bring with Land Rover. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Land Rover Defender 110 SE. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I've always wanted one of these. When I heard the Defender was coming back, I was like, yes, I finally get my second chance to try to get one. Wasn't able to get one back in 93 uh, or even 97. How much is this one? Now, the way that this one is optioned, you're looking around at MSRP of $72,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, Land Rover uses this great material. It feels like a wetsuit. So it's nice and soft, but it also is rugged and it's easy to clean. I love the exposed screws that they have around that whole armrest area. Really gives it that nice rugged look. Even the way they did the speaker grill covers, large door pocket down there. So make your stop, get your foot long meatball sub, and you could just drop it right in there. But that neoprene area on the armrest, it's soft, but it's also grippy too. So you're not gonna be sliding all over the place. Now, when we go from the door panel to the dash, if you have a lot of things to bring with you, they put a lot of space. So you have this nice, beautiful working tray here, Defender name stamped in that in case you forgot what vehicle you bought but you got a nice large oak crap panel for the passenger to hold on to. And I really think it's super smart that there's tons of pass through. I mean, even through the infotainment system back here, you could hide that box of Twinkies. If your significant other's like, you need to lay off the Twinkies, you've been watching Rady's Rides too much, keep watching Rady's Rides, just hide a Twinkie behind there. Don't tell anybody, shh. You do have a easy to get to USB port, which is nice, so you could plug in your phone and have it sitting there next to a loaf of bread in that large area. That's how large it is. You can literally put a loaf of bread there. The AC vents, you'd think that they wouldn't blow effectively because of the way that they're located, but they're really great. And it just cleans everything up in here and allows you to focus on all this other great stuff that's going on. But there's that wetsuit material, feels good. And then here's what really feels good, over 10 inches. So you have that 10 inch infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Of course we have navigation. And of course you have a touch screen. So it's really easy to just set up. You just hit, click, and go, and you're off and rocking and rolling. There's our secret location. I just gave that away, so um, that's from a gift from me to you. Let me throw it in reverse. Super clear, some of the clearest cameras in the whole world. I mean, I think Fox Sports uses these cameras when they're filming their football games, but you do have your 360 cam and your trajectory, which is really awesome. And then, like I said, it's just so clear and if you want, you could hit off-road. And then look at this, they show the suspension. You can see, look at that, bling, bling. There's my custom wheel. You could take a look at it and be like, man, I'm glad I went with that option. They're looking really, really good. So it's really nice to have all that usability. And then you just hit home and we're right back again. This is gonna control that ZF eight-speed automatic transmission. And then you do have a plethora of buttons here. Don't let it scare you. It's easy to figure out just with a little bit of time. Here's how you could raise or lower your Land Rover, which is real easy. Shut the traction control off, shut that pesky auto start stop feature. And then what I really love are these knobs. So you actually push and you could do ventilated seat or you could do heated seat. I'm going ventilated because I live in Florida. So there we go. And then we're right back. And then this is how you could adjust the temperature. You're like, oh, but the blower is, is blowing too much air. You hit that and then here's your speed. So easy to get to. And I'm telling you, once you figure it out, piece of cake, but you do have dual climate control, drop down, you got USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt. And then you have another cubby area down here. So if you wanna go to Costco and get that big bag of Lay's, 
you could drop them right here and it's an actual pass through. So that's a nice system as well. You have your cup holders, wireless cell phone charging, and then you have this really nice wide armrest that's that neoprene swimsuit material. You lift this up and then you could drop in, you just fill this up with drinks. Just get like a, dump a, a two liter bottle of Mountain Dew and just get a straw and you could just drink out of that. Put this back down, super nice in the seats. Same story, you got some nice leather, perforated. I like the grippy texture material. Nice leather on the headrest. You drop down, you're gonna get obviously full electric seats for the passenger and the driver. But wait, there's more. Let's show off uh, Lori here and we're gonna make her disappear. And there is the camera out the back. So you have your digital rear view camera. Look how clear that is. I can read the license plate number, 267 b UV. So just read the license plate number off of that vehicle. That's how clear it is. And then guess what? You want it to go away? It's right back to being a mirror. And then there I am. Hi. Panoramic sunroof, like I told you. Nice to have that option. And it goes all the way back, which is wonderful. I got plenty of headroom in here. You'd have to be taller than the Jolly Green Giant or maybe Shaquille O'Neal to not fit in here. But I'm feeling really good. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of our Defender 110. All right, guys sitting up high on the business side of things of course you have your three memory seat settings for the driver's seat you could get to those controls to adjust it very easy get that lower lumbar kicking feeling good steering wheel it is electric tilting and telescoping and what i love about the steering wheel it's got a great future look but also a look from the past i love the thickness the leather and even this flat gray, it's almost like a ceramic white, super clean with the Defender logo there. You got your thumb controls, all flat black. And then look, they give you a nice little cubby here. Let's say you, you made a deal with your significant other. You said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off on the Twinkies, but if I have one, I'll have an apple. So this is a good place to put that apple, a nice Granny Smith, maybe a, a Golden Delicious. And then Dash, that is something really delicious. 12 inches of visual pleasure, smack dab in your face. You have your navigation, you got that beautiful tack speedometer, and then all your readouts for range and how much fuel you got left, the whole nine yards. That really is just the cherry on top of this whole interior that I call the Defender SE 110. But this is great up here. I bet you it gets even better for the passengers. Let's get to the back seat and see how good they're gonna have it. All right, guys, we're in the mid row. What's wonderful is you got plenty of room. And like I said, because of that flat roof, everybody is gonna have the same amount of room and the door opening is ginormous. I mean, we've been in some SUVs here on Ready's Rise where it's like you gotta squeeze through a mail slot to get in. Here, you don't have to do that in the Defender. Now, everybody gets a nice oh crap handle or a pull-in handle to pull themselves in. Look how smart this is. You got a USB right in the back of the seat for your passenger. Of course, you're gonna have a nice size uh, seat pocket. You could put an abacus in there. You could put a tennis racket, maybe even a, a map of the Raiders of the Lost Ark if you're looking for the Ark of the Covenant. So you could put that back here. You have your AC vents, and I like the way that they did the same design as up front, the way they kind of dropped them in. Even the controls, dual climate in the back, I mean, how crazy is that with your blower fan switch? And then look at this, open up door number one, 12 volt. Door number two, USB. Door number three, USB. Door number four, another 12 volt. So they have you totally connected there, which is great. I got plenty of room. And what's wonderful is that the seats, they recline a little bit. Nice high headrest though, which is a, a welcome touch. But if you're looking for a vehicle to lay out in, you're gonna need to look at a different vehicle. You just don't have that capability in here. But what you do have, is you can slide the seat. So that's really wonderful, especially for people like myself with longer legs. And then of course you got a nice tasteful armrest, two cup holders, very soft. I got my panoramic roof and I have my nice little stargazing roof. I think I could see, I think I could see Mars. It's pretty cool. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out that cargo area and see how much we could haul in this Defender. All right guys, cargo area time. Time to open up the back. Now, the only thing I could see a zonk on this is if you're parallel parked, because if you have a car behind you, it's gonna be hard to kind of open up the door, but really like the way it swings open. You got the Defender name, you chose correctly. You went with the Land Rover Defender. I do like this nice Twinkie slot that they put in the back, or you could easily put four Snickers bars, two on each side. Somebody was saying Twix. I don't mention enough Twix. 
yes, you could get your Twix. The best thing is, is that you could share it with somebody or just eat both of them for yourself. That's the way I would go. You do have a security shade and what's nice is it's real easy to just get out of the way. LED lighting and then there's two buttons over here which are kind of cool. You could actually raise and lower the back. So I'm gonna hit this and it's actually gonna bring down the rear of the vehicle as I'm standing here. It's nice to have that kind of setup because I'm telling you right now, especially when it's in the higher setting, to get things in and out is gonna be a little bit of a chore. But the nice thing is, nice flat fours, that mid row is gonna fold down. The reason why I say mid row is this one has the optional third row. It's gonna be super tight. You're gonna to wanna to keep your smallest passengers for back here, but you can have a Defender if you go the 110 route with three row capability, and that's gonna make your next trip of, to Moab um, especially through Hell's Revenge, that much more interesting to take even more people. But they do have rear AC, which is nice, and cup holders, which is important too, so that they can have something to drink because it does get hot out in Moab. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's close up this Defender. Story's not over yet. It's only beginning. Let's take this 110 out on the road. Guys, we're in the Land Rover Defender 110 SE. I tell you, right away, just driving this vehicle, you feel like you could basically go through just about anything. I love the view out over the hood. We have that wonderful display there that's given me that digital rear view mirror. And remember, that's a separate camera. It's a camera that's actually mounted into the shark fin antenna up on the roof. So it's really gonna give you a great bird's eye off the back as you're driving down the road or in a parking lot. But Steering wheel, nice thickness. The 12 inch display is so clear, so easy to see. I think I forgot to show you the key fob. So here is your Land Rover key fob. Let me spin it the right way for you. There it is with the buttons on the back. It's a good size, nice weight to it, feels good. Visibility out the back is, is super clear. I love the shape of the side mirrors. And like I said, you got that electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. If you have plenty of snacks, you have plenty of places in here to put those snacks. And we are still in the high position. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. So you're just gonna hit this button here and that's actually gonna lower the front and rear separately. And that really, I think, is gonna be the overall setting that a lot of people use when they're driving on the asphalt jungle. But boy, oh boy, when you go off-roading, put it in that higher position and you're golden with that. Having the ventilated seats, it's easy. Like I said, you push and then spin the wheel. Now I have the ventilated seats on, AC is back on, feeling good. Overall, I love the fit and finish. It's very, very quiet in here and there's plenty of headroom for sure. The wonderful thing about the Defender is that driving this every day, you're gonna get plenty of power as you're going down the road and it's really smooth power from that electric supercharger, but let's do a little bit of an on throttle here. On throttle, ZF drops down, that eight speed drops down and you are off and running. Brakes feel really good. Steering has a nice feel to it. And remember, this is just a little bit of the capabilities of this Defender where the capabilities and the payoff really comes in is off-roading and that's what this vehicle is all Let's about. Do another acceleration test on throttle. Drops down, nose comes up and we are off and running. On the brakes. This isn't a corner carver, it's more of a canyon carver but still handles really well for the type of vehicle that it is. That ZF eight speed shifts, fantastic. Nice and smooth. There is a bit of body roll, but like I said, in the lower position, it's not as bad as if we were in the higher position. And that just makes sense. You're raising that center of gravity. But I do like the steering input feel, and I do like the way that the vehicle overall is very, very balanced. Seeing out of it, great sight lines, no blind spots to speak of. All right guys, time to get on the highway, on throttle. So the great news is you're gonna have no problem merging whatsoever. 
And then the ride quality is fan freaking tastic, especially if you're gonna use this as your daily driver. It does just about everything really, really well. Now, of course, you're getting some road noise from those off-road Goodyear tires, and you are getting some wind noise off the mirrors, but other than that, it really drives super well down the road, especially for the type of vehicle that it is. And then if the weather turns for the worse, like I said, almost three feet of water, our Defender is also optioned with a sensor that will tell you what the air quality is outside. It's just touches like that that separate the Defender from all the other off-road SUVs and all the other off-road pretenders that are out there. Well, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the Land Rover Defender 110 SE is all about. I really think it's such a unique driving experience and just looking at it, sitting there in a parking lot or your garage or your driveway, it just has that old feel, but with all the new technology and great off-road capability that really this brand is known for. And then getting to the controls, everything is very intuitive and makes sense. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to our special location and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a time with this Land Rover Defender 110 SE. I First off, gotta thank Andrew and everybody at Land Rover USA for allowing Radies Rides access to this amazing machine. This really hits a chord with me. I really love the connection to the past, but mixing the present and the future all into one vehicle, such an iconic name, the Defender. And you know what? This thing rides so nicely going down the road and also would really be a joy to take off-road. It has all the ingredients. It's like the 13 different ingredients that makes KFC so great. It's in this Land Rover Defender, and that's what makes it so great as an off-road SUV, and really king of the hill when it comes to bringing that luxury and that off-road touch. But if you wanna keep seeing these amazing SUVs on Radies Rides that are just defying gravity, it's almost like you could fly to the moon in one of these, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's loving this Defender. She does such a great job. Definitely leave her some love in the comment section. And who knows what her next vehicle will be because she really wants to go off-roading. So thank you, Lori, for all that you do and all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.